What's up everybody? This is Petro with ApexLighting.com and today we're checking out LED rope light. All right, so what we have here is our LED rope light. Rope light's been around for a very long time and it's probably only been about LED for the past 10 years or so. It's not the brightest linear LED accessory. However, it's probably the most durable. You can bend it, practically tie knots in it, step on it. Um, it's just really durable and perfect just for accent lighting. You can pretty much do anything with this. Put it around beds, soffits, wrap it around poles, um, all kinds of inside uh, cubby boxes, storage boxes, just name it. It is fully waterproof, it's completely sealed. Um, so we sell this by the foot. It is available in 12 volt, 24 volt, and it comes in different colors. You can get it in a soft white, warm white, blue or red. Um, blue is really popular, it looks really good. And we do have some accessories with it. Um, at the bare minimum, you're gonna need an end cap. This is where you would terminate the opposite end. Um, might wanna put a little bit of clear silicone in it or some sealant, and then just put this on. This will keep moisture out. At the opposite end, you're gonna wanna put our power cord kit. This is what it's gonna power it up because our spools are about 150 feet and then we cut this to order as you, if you order 10 feet, we'll cut 10 feet and send it to you. You can then actually cut it down every three inches. There's a pair of scissor marks somewhere that I can't see without my glasses right here. So you can cut a pair of scissors and make it as long or short as you need. So say you need about 100 feet for a project, uh, you can just order 100 feet and then cut it down to your own lens, right? So one end, you got the end cap. The opposite end, you need to put this power. So you line up these pins with, you line up these pins right there. Push it in as tight as you can. I like to put this area, cover this area with some clear silicone, some sealant, and then just tighten down on the compression fitting. This will make a nice waterproof connection. If you have a hard time lining it up pins or getting it making good contact, just try the opposite end. Sometimes for some reason one side may be easier than the other. Um, also, if it still doesn't work after you put the pins in, these are polarity sensitive, positive, negative. However, the black doesn't always line up with negative because you might have reversed the pins. No, they're not color coded. So if it doesn't work in one direction, just reverse your wires, positive, negative. You won't harm it. Just It just simply won't work. So. Right. so as far as mounting it, there's a few methods. So if you're trying to do a long run, these three foot tracks are perfect to keep it straight. So what you can do is you can mount these on your mounting surface with either an adhesive, double-sided tape, or I like to just drill about three, four little holes and use some tiny stainless screws. So you would mount it to the mounting surface and the roll plate would just snap into it. Right. So this will give you a really nice, perfectly straight line. So if it's somewhere where it's visible and you need a straight line, this works really, really well. And then it's easy to remove, well, not so easy, but you can remove it if you need it to, but it's tight enough where it would hang upside down and it, it's not coming out. So that's one way, okay, done. Another method, probably the most popular one, is this P-clip. P because it's shaped like the letter P. And you would put around it and then just put a single stainless steel screw that would hold it in place. I usually recommend putting these every 12 to 18 inches. That way you don't have too much sag, especially in the summer where it gets hot, it tends to be a little bit more flexible. Then there's one more type of clip and this is a U-clip, again, shaped like the letter U. This one mounts it with a single screw as well and then a rope light just snaps into it. The difference 
This one is, it allows you to remove it. So if it's seasonal, maybe you just put on for holidays or part of, not in winter, just summer, you could take this off. Um, as far as accessories, that's pretty much it. Um, bend this in different shapes, bend it as much as you want, but that's all there is to it.